them on the FaceTime. I need it all for them, so no, I cannot waste time. Facing these oceans, feel the water on my waistline. We trust the process, and I only know it takes time. You can get it. Got no worries, I'm gonna make mine. Going global, I'ma get it out the state lines. Paying taxes at a mortar, which you may not. Different bracket, eating off a different plate now. I need my hands. This life is real. If they pretend, came off the bench. I get it in. I get it in. I get it in. For my wings, I need my hands. This life is real. Can't play pretend. Came off the bench. I get it in. Came for my win, I need my hands. This life is real, can't play pretend. Came off the bench, I get it in, I get it in, I get it in. Came for my win, I need my hands. This life is real, can't play pretend. Came off the bench, I get it in, I get it in, I get it in. I'm on my job, I get it done, but you should know that. Shine like a sun on 101, you should know that. I get the front and in the back, you should know that. No need to stun, it's never cap, you should know that. All I know, ten toes, never fold. Bay and roll, on the go. Ice hole, ice hole, ice hole. Came for my win, I need my hands. This life is real, can't play pretend. Came off the bench, I get it in, I get it in, I get it in. Came for my win, I need my hands. This life is real. I miss my baby, so I hit them on the FaceTime. I need it all for them, so no, I cannot waste time. Facing these oceans, feel the water on my waistline. We trust the process, and I only know it takes time. You can get it. Got no worries, I'm gonna make mine. Going global, I'm gonna get it out the state line. Back in there. Yet again. With some more Yu-Gi-Oh! duels. I need my hands. Right, proper black Goku 4000. Come back to the screen. Set up. How y'all doing tonight? Glad y'all made it out. I didn't KO you with Cyber Dragons again. Congrats, my boy. Cyber Dragons been struggling after that nerf, so I'm glad you're sticking with them, my boy. And see, that's how we that's how we make them true never miss decks. You playing with your cyber dragons, it was tier one meta, it was great, it was fun, it was immaculate. Then they nerfed you to oblivion, then they clapped you, then they stole stuff from you, then they stopped supporting you. But you didn't give up on the cyber dragons, so the cyber dragons didn't give up on you. And therefore, you never missed. This is the never missed wisdom. Yes, yeah, boys. Here for him. Yes. Dog is asleep. And my chat is asleep. Chat box return. Austin, you are just in time, my boy. Trying to get second KLG in a row with Evil Eye. Oh, that's extra rogue, my boy. That Evil Eye deck, that's that Evil Eye deck. I feel like is as strong as like, or it's like if you don't have the right cards to handle it, like you bail. Because once that deck gets started, it's kind of hard to stop. Fusion Gate, my boy. Yes. I have been clapped by Fusion Gate a many a times. I have not done any tag tournaments. So I'm gonna do some tag tournament. 
I also enjoy some cookies. <laughs> That's right. I was just like me. I'd rather not explain legend trees. I'd rather duel. <laughs> you must be thrilled that you get a team with me. <laughs> I'm not thrilled by the least. NSFW, the most terrifying stream ever slash hard. Not safe for work. The most terrifying stream ever. Hard. What? Did, did what? Did y'all see that? <laughs> What could they possibly be playing? What could this deck possibly be, bro? So I see there, I see that the people at Konami, they're, they're more like, like a me <laughs> than others. <laughs> they're memers. They're the dankest of memers. This deck is called not safe for work. This deck could get you fucking fired. If you did this duel and you were at work, your boss find out they call in their trial. Your ass is gone. Sucks. Mm -mm -mm. And it's and it's hard difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hard, bro. Bless scores. Charles Rod Jr. What's good, my boy? Welcome back to the stream. Those was good. Konami out here. That was actually funny. That was actually funny. I like that. But I gotta see what it is, you know? What? Ooh. Hi, <laughs> bud. Can we clap it up for my boy Dark Side Dimension Skyba? Mmm. That was sexy. The AI don't be getting in there with OTKs, but that was a good move. Kaiba laid that man out. <laughs> You're no good at all. I don't need a weak partner like you. Get out of here. Phew, gladly. <laughs> hey. That deck was called not safe for work. What is Konami doing, bro? We working on a number 32 deck, my boy. That's what's up. I remember the smith. Okay, I'm gonna say something funny. I remember the literal smell of this card. I remember this was a starter deck. I don't remember if it was Kaiba or Yugi, but I remember this card and I remember looking at my Yu-Gi-Oh cards and seeing this card and this scent of cards. And when I saw it, it came to my mind, like the smell of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I, don't, I, I know you know what I'm talking about. But this card just like hit me, just like, just like that. It's insane how the brain works. As soon as I saw it, I kind of like, I, I like smelt it or tasted it or like right up in here. I just was like, Yu-Gi-Oh. There he is again. Get out of my head. Get out of my memes. Get into my car. 
<laughs> oh dang, I should have read it. Ah oh, damn, I should have read it. But don't treat me like a little kid and you're the amateur, not me. Damn, Mokuba. I don't know what she said, but Mokuba just laid her ass out. Kaiba, she, he was like, don't treat me like a little kid and you're all caps, the amateur, not me. Damn. Damn. Let's see if I can get that dialogue again. Okay. Hey, Mokuba, I'll win this duel for you before your nap time. <laughs> okay. Then he said, don't treat me like an amateur. Yeah. Okay. Damn. They going in on this text. I never read the text, my boy. No, I, when I say old Yu-Gi-Oh card smell, I mean the smell of the first cards after you've had them for a long time. That's what I'm talking about. When I say an old Yu-Gi-Oh card, that's just a weird experience that I had. This was like, I really don't like the saber hole. I have not played it a single time. Oh man, I forgot about card advance. Yeah, I forgot about card advance. Actually, I'm gonna switch. Make Kaiba proud. Cause Kaiba's on my team. Six K gems. You a rich boy? Can I get a loan? Terrence Ward, what's good, my boy? That look at the new box. Yes, I'm making a video for that after this uh, stream. I'm gonna upload it tomorrow, hopefully. I think, yeah, I think tomorrow, because I think the new box comes out the day after, right? I mean, not tomorrow. I meant like later on, I guess. Oh no, yeah, tomorrow, because it's 10 o'clock. I, I looked over, thought it was like midnight or something. But yeah, it's just for me, my day kind of is. It's so weird, man. Since since we had a baby, the day kind of feel like it's over when you put the baby to sleep, if that makes sense. So when I put the baby to sleep, I kind of feel like instantly like, uh, like drained, you know? And then, um, I don't know. I just looked over and I thought it was like 12 o'clock. It's only 10:45. So yeah, so it was, he said, he said, yeah, it was Says I have to take less risk when choosing a partner. Damn. I think there's a actual dark side of dimensions uh, thing we can get. I'll show Kaiba my power. I think there's a dark side of dimensions like prize we can get. Um, and I really want to get that badge. I want to use that badge. Wait, my invitations is at 69. This is a blessed hour. I will go ahead and give myself a nice Nice. And you can give me a like. Crush that like button. Give me 69 likes right now. Actually, do I how many likes do I even have right now? I don't even know. Give me enough likes, my boy. <laughs> give me 69 likes right now, my boy. Give me 69 likes. Alright. Uh what are we gonna play? No, Kaiba. Not right now. Uh, yeah, whatever. I'll say that. Kaiba, you know what's messed up? You know what's messed up? I still got Scud in jail, bro. I have never unleashed Scud. I just lay. I just left him here forever and ignored Scud. Never touched him. <laughs> That's messed up. Poor Scud. You said six or nine? Yeah. I say that a lot too. Ah. Six or nine or what's the other one that people always say? Damn. I can't think of it. 
So this is the dank fam still a thing. Of course it is, my boy. I just have been indisposed. We're both Bluetooth Kaiba. Should I just give Kaiba a plasma and pass turn? Uh, yeah. You're welcome, Seto. Zen matey. I really like this combo, man. It's, it's so busted. Zip. Double check. Well, I got a second one in there. Yeah. But one 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 Got that one for you later, Kaiba. Kaiba, like, whoa, this duelist is really setting me up. That's right, Kaiba. I've got the combo skills. Yeet. And I'm not done yet. Yes, Kaiba. Take it, Kaiba. Take the plasma. And I'll end my turn. Take my plasma, Kaiba. It's my, my strongest gift. I've given you two cards, Kaiba. You can win this duel. Yes! Yes, Kaiba! Yes! Yes! Look at him doing it! Oh my god! Oh my god! He's doing it! Kaiba! You... You sacrificed God! You... Kaiba... He truly is a madman. Wow. Yeah, this is an older version of this deck. I just had uh, three rats in it. <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't need three rats. It only. I really think it only needs one rat. One rat I normally play, but this is just a copy paste deck of my like first duel with it. But since I'm playing uh, Watch Magic with uh, Tag Duel, why not three rat? It's just a tag duel. It's not that serious. Since uh, since all I'm doing is setting up Kaiba. I love I love how Kaiba just sacrificed God like he was nothing. And hey, I appreciate it, my boy. I love how Kaiba just sacrificed God. He was just like, you know what? I offer he said I appreciate all the I can I can see him in my mind's eye like ah YT Dan I appreciate the hard work of summoning your destiny hero plasma and exceed monster but you'll see that it was totally unnecessary and I can handle this duel on my own and I'll be like oh, Kaiba observe and then he does all that bullshit <laughs> But he did use plasma to suck up the face down so Nick he could hit direct. So he needed my help. There you go. Oh wait, I didn't even read their like ballad of friendship. Let me go back. Let me go back. It says, hey, it's been a long time since we tagged together, Yugi. Actually, this may be the first time we're tagging. You're right. It's time for your team up with me. Wait. What didn't they tag duel with the uh, the Paradox Brothers? Says actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to actually go back in this deck and I'm going to put an obelisk in it. I'm going to put in uh an obelisk and see if I can uh 
get the obelisk out for Kaiba. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can drop that ob. Actually, I'll drop this rat and then throw in an ob. Mm. What? Where's the blue boy? Torment. There he is. <laughs> Had to type it in. Torment. Um, since this is Dark Side Dimensions, Kaiba, uh, I don't really need these. I mean, I, I just tag duels. I don't really need that. I can use three of those. And I think I can add. No, 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 no. I'm going to try this out. I'm going to see. Uh, I never played with this, but since it does, the duels don't really matter. I'm going to try that out. All right. Let's final duel. That's right. It's time to team up. So did anyone <laughs> see deep eyes of blue? Got thighs, <laughs> bruh. <laughs> Hold on a second, man. I got I got something for you. you got that. Take your ass to horny jail. She got thighs. I know she thick. You ain't gotta tell me twice. <laughs> Take your ass to horny jail. You gotta go. <laughs> Actually, speaking of you gotta go, did y'all ever see the Rugrats parody of Yu-Gi-Oh! And they were called You Gotta Go cards. Did y'all ever see that? I think I said that to y'all one time. I was like, y'all ever see You Gotta Go? <laughs> this shit was called You Gotta Go. <laughs> you Gotta Go! <laughs> oh my... <laughs> Oh, look at Dan over there playing that. You gotta go again. <laughs> yes, upcoming box. I'm gonna be making a video for that, and y'all get it tomorrow uh, at 12. Uh, do -do 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 Here, Kaiba. Actually, no, Kaiba, take this. Kaiba. Actually, though, he's not. Oh, no, I just can't, man. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, wait, no. I'm going. Um, It's my turn. Mm, 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 Actually, I need to put my boy in here, the uh, that 2200 guy, because I just copied this deck from my old version. I didn't make all those little tech choices. Yeah, because I had my 2200 guy. He would have been gone. Oh. Been blocked, boys. We're blocked. <laughs> We're blocked, boys. <laughs> Burst in the tricks. Yes. I'll give myself a bonk <laughs> for yesterday. <laughs> for yesterday with Burst in the tricks. Yes. I'll give myself the bonk. <laughs> Kyber's like, all right, time to do my OTK. I guess he bricked on the first turn. 
I guess I could auto duel, but I mean, why would I auto duel? I'm, I'm sitting right here with. Why I'm sitting right here with? Literally, do not have to apply a ton of skill. But I'm like, I'm, I'm enjoying setting it up for Kaiba. I do all this hard work, get all these cards out. Kaiba's like, cool, bro. You put two monsters on the field. That's the perfect requirement for my sacrifice. I'm like, no, Kaiba, it's a whole system. Don't, don't tribute my beast. He's like, fuck them. I tribute the rat and Zinmati with two exceed tokens. Oh, Kaiba. <laughs> Killing me. Killing me. But yeah, I'll give you a sneak preview of that review. I, I didn't take a look at a lot of stuff or, or like everything. I did take a quick glance and I saw that good stuff like Fissure in there. Ooh, Fissure, yes. Okay, now, okay, now I'll tell you why Fissure's good. Fissure is not good because it kills Cockatus. Fissure is good because it opens you up for my OTK. Say it with me, boys. OTK. Because when I got 4,500 damage for you, and you got a monster with 600 attack points face up on the field, that's only going to be 39 damage, and you live and get to kill me next turn. But if I got Fissure, that's GG. And you can just play one fissure very casually in any deck. I love staples, man. I love staples. Change the game. Fissure. It's going to change how people play. People are going to play one weak monster on the field so they can protect their big monster from the potential fissure. Then you can use your econ to destroy their weak monster for game. I'm going to enjoy fissure. I'm going to love fissure. But what's going to be annoying, that's what I'm saying. Fissure does not kill Cockatus. It doesn't kill Cockatus. And, and that's fine. We don't need it for Cockatus. We need it because it's just that nice one of that can work in any deck. I don't care what you play. You're playing Control. You're playing Burn. You're playing Beatdown. Fissure is just a great one of card. I think, it, I think, it's, I think it's worth it. But it's going in a main box, so it's not going to be easy to pick up. But unfortunately, if it could kill Cockatoos, that would be fantastic. But they're not going to release nothing that's going to kill Cockatoos. <laughs> no, not at all. Not on a one shot, not, not so easily. And it doesn't target also. Their opponent can't escape from it. They have to negate it. And if they don't have a negate, they're gonna lose something. So I think Fissure's gonna do two things. Number one, make people play additional monsters, make people overextend sometimes. And number two, it's gonna open people up to Econ plays. Econ's gonna get a lot more play, I think. That's just my personal theory because, you know, Back in the day, I remember when Smashing Ground hit the meta for the first time back in the day. And I remember how people reacted to Smashing Ground. They was like, oh man, Smashing Ground isn't all that great. But then they was like, oh, wait a minute. And then they kind of realized how Smashing Ground worked. And everybody was up on fucking Smashing Ground. Oh, I'm about to, oh, I can't do it for Obelisk. I mean, for Kaiba, damn, Kaiba. Shit. I can't even do it. <laughs> right now, I'm like this. I'm like, hey, Kaiba, look what I got in my hand. He's like, oh, impossible. How did he get it out of my deck? <laughs> well, I think Fissure is going to be pretty good. But that's like one of the, that's like the card that I'm most excited for is Fissure, obviously. If you couldn't tell. If you couldn't tell. Alright, meet them bad Betty. Alright. Kaiba. It's up to you. I can summon the ultimate. I'll even pass turn and let you have it.
Piper's like, I want that obelisk, damn it. <laughs> Don't play no games. <laughs> okay. I was like, don't mess with me. I want that obelisk. What? Depth amulet. What? What is going on? Kaiba? What? What did you do? Be still my broken heart. This is Buster. For my partner. That's right. I'm summoning God. You know what's funny? You know what's funny? If Kaiba uses Obelisk and tributes him for blue eyes, I'd be a little tilted. Oh, that one, that one dude does that thing. Okay. Ooh. Kaiba's like, <laughs> yes. Oh wait, no, Kaiba's gone. Oh, I got Callan. I didn't even notice. I failed you, Kaiba. I failed you. Kaiba! I thought he was going to be so happy. Oh. Talent sacrifice God. Don't know. Don't people have respect for God anymore? <laughs> people out here sacrificing God. <laughs> Damn. Don't nobody care about God no more. Oh, it's the night. The lights are at 69. Nice. Don't nobody care about the gods no more. Don't nobody have respect. Plasma and obelisk both disrespected during this stream by the AI. AI was like, you know what? I'm sacrificing God. <laughs> no, don't do it, please. Getting sacrificed the obelisk and I'm summoning. No, I didn't do a box review. I was just talking about fissure. I wasn't doing a review. I'm gonna do a, a proper review, but I was just talking about Fissure. Just talking about how excited I am to play Fissure. And how I think Fissure is gonna affect the game. Cause it's gonna be a card that like, not everybody's gonna play it. But the people who play it, they're gonna use it effectively. And you're gonna be really pissed off when you play your one monster and you're like, shit, I just gotta hold on one more turn. And they're like, Fissure. You're like, <laughs> You're not gonna feel good, but you know what? What other reasons why Fissure is good? It's a perfect bait card. If a opponent, opponent got like a one turn negate, it's like, all right, you got the one turn negate, sure, but I got the Fissure, and it's like, oh shit. So it's like you have to negate, like whatever it is, you have to negate the Fissure. And then what's coming next? The real spell. You know what I'm saying? The invocation, the enemy controller, the whatever. Jerry. Hold on, I got a 3D mode for Jerry Beans, man. Wait, Callan out here just cheating, bro. Sorry, Jerry. Godspeed, Jerry. Respect. Can I get a respect for Jerry Beans, man, my boy? Hold on, I'm gonna gold star this man right now for his service back in the day. Respect, Jerry, respect. You bricked me, Callan, you maniac. Once per turn, if you control a face of infinity monster, you can remove from play all cards in hand face down to the next standby phase. Um, why? 
Respect for my boy Jerry, man. Respect. He deserves it. He the best. My boy Beans, man. Gotta respect the Beans, man. Jerry Beans, man, used to beat so much ass. <laughs> like, I ain't even playing. Like, Jerry Beans, man, used to fuck people up. <laughs> Y'all remember the Jerry? Like, get ready for my beans, man. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, yes. Actually, that was another uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! anime that I, uh, thing that I really liked. <laughs> when someone would say, oh, no, and then the other person would say, oh, yes. <laughs> I thought that shit was, like, the funniest fucking thing to say. But fuck was like, and now this card destroys all your monsters. Oh no! Actually, Yugi used to say that versus Merrick. That's who he used to say it. He's like, now this card's gonna destroy all your monsters. And Yugi was like, oh no! And Merrick was like, oh yes! <laughs> Merrick! That used to be my shit. <laughs> like, Merrick? Actually, Merrick and my favorite villain is definite was definitely Merrick. He was my favorite villain. He was my favorite villain from the old school back in the day. Merrick was just like <laughs> he was ridiculous. I mean, he was honestly ridiculous. Like when I watched the anime back in the day for the very first time as a child, I was like, oh shit, this Merrick dude is actually scary. And I was like, what if I was like, what if Merrick approached me like at the library and was like, that's a nice book bag. I guess it's time to duel for it. And I'm like, no, Merrick, I don't want to duel. And he's like, get ready for the silver and calco. I used to have dual nightmares when I was young too. That used to be crazy. Just having random nightmares of playing Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> that just means I was playing too much Yu-Gi-Oh. That's really all that meant. But I used to have like little little random dual nightmares <laughs> playing Yu-Gi-Oh. That junk used to be so whack. I used to <laughs> I'm like, oh no. Look, I'm about to uh make old boy uh the 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 security people over there be real mad. Police working for me. But yeah, that junk is uh yeah, that was, it was silly. I used to have dual nightmares. Uh, playing shadow games, <laughs> losing because I got a brick. <laughs> got to go to shadow realm because I had a brick. <laughs> like no. <laughs> oh, thanks for that. Uh, subscribe, my boy. Uh, this says uh, Eris. Thanks for the subscribe, my boy. I used to have him had him do a night. It's my boy. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, it was crazy, man. Dual fucking nightmares. <laughs> like, oh no, my mind. <laughs> I used to, I used to, the reason why I thought Merrick was so cool is because all the mystery and mystique they had building Merrick up. And when Merrick finally, oh, I should have hit the draw since high level, I forgot. And when Merrick finally, like, like got in and like approached them. It was just crazy. Like Mary, like Mary showed up and they didn't know who he was. And then Odeon was pretending he was Merrick and people was trying to kill Odeon because I mean, they thought they were fucking Merrick and they were thinking the Merrick deserves to be killed. And I'm thinking like, holy shit. Like, you know, I was just really taking, I was really taking this in. And I, and then like Odeon basically was willing to die for Merrick and, and it was just like crazy. It was just like crazy as I'm watching this. And I was just like, this is insane. And then Joey almost defeated Merrick. And I was, I literally like when I saw that, like Joey was about to attack with Gear Free the Iron Knight. That brought like tears to my eyes. I was like, no, Joey. I thought Joey was like dead, dead, you know, cause shit. For all I know, he was dead, dead. That was the first time I saw it. I was really, I was very into it. I used to do the stuff where I used to watch the uh, anime and I would have my deck out, my deck. You nasty. And I would uh, be playing, I would be dueling the TV. 
and imagining my opponent from the anime reacting to the cards I play. And of course, I, I always won because I had Black Luster Soldier and Chaos Emperor Dragon. <laughs> Mako was trying to make me sleep with the fishes. <laughs> Yeah, season two and three was crazy. And then after that, and you gotta remember, for me, when I start seeing Battle City, that was when I was getting competitive. That's when I was starting to quote unquote, get good. Like I learned the rules and I learned how to play. And that was when I was really getting into it. So at that point, I was super hyped. Like I was so hyped. I remember my mom wanted to go somewhere on the episode where, I don't know if y'all remember, y'all remember Five-Headed Dragon? when the big five summoned it or something like that. And they had to use the uh, Dragon Master Knight to kill it and Kaiba and Yugi worked together or something like that. Um, well, I remember watching that on TV, on like a big ass tube TV, right? And my mom needed to go somewhere. We were, I think we were gonna catch the bus somewhere. And we had to like leave like immediately or we were gonna basically miss the bus. But I was just waiting for the show to come off commercial break. God, y'all, y'all who grew up watching YouTube and shit, y'all don't know what it was like to watch TV and have a hard stop in the entertainment, a hard stop and like five minutes straight of ads. And it was nothing you could do. You could get up and go to the bathroom, I guess, or, or maybe change the channel. But yeah, that was back in the day, that was crazy. But anyway, I was waiting for the commercials to be over and it was just taking forever. And when they were finally over, it was like back to Yu-Gi-Oh! And I was watching it, like trying to like figure out what was about to happen or whatever. And my mom was like, we gotta go now. And I was like, no, cause I, cause I thought I was never gonna see that episode again. I was so distraught. <laughs> I thought it was over. <laughs> I was so upset, man. I was, I was so upset. I remember being so upset. I was so upset. I was so mad, man. I couldn't believe it. I was like, this is a travesty. How could you do this to your son? That's all I was thinking. I was so upset, man. I was so upset. I was so upset. I thought I was never gonna see it. I, I really, I was so invested in the anime. And you gotta, and like, this is another thing too about when I was growing up, I didn't have cable. So like stuff that I was watching on stuff like, you know, uh, like regular TV, that was like all I really had for entertainment. So when stuff like Yu-Gi-Oh was coming out and it was a new episode, I was like really looking forward to it because I mean, how many of y'all remember watching your favorite show, expecting a new episode like Yu-Gi-Oh and then on Saturday morning, you know Yu-Gi-Oh's first episode, long ago. <laughs> you're like, damn it. That's like when you're watching Dragon Ball back in the day and you're watching the Cell Saga and you was waiting for it to conclude or whatever. And, oh damn, I forgot his life points is higher than usual. You're waiting for it to conclude or whatever. And you're thinking the next episode is gonna be a new episode. And the next episode it's like, Dragon Ball, looking for Goku fighting Raditz and shit. You're like, oh fuck. Or it start over in the Frieza saga. You're just like, oh shit. But, you know, being a kid was rough, man. It was rough being a kid, bro. It was rough. Ooh, it was rough being a kid. Saturday morning cartoons was the best, but the price you had to pay was continuous ads. Cause most TV shows was either 15 or 20 minutes, really. Like, depending on like what kind of show it was. Like, well, no, not 15 minutes, maybe that's too low. I would say 20, 25 minutes. And it was about five to 10 minutes of ads per show, depending on if they, some, in some shows, I just, I found this out recently, they would fast forward, like they would fast forward the footage so that it will meet like 20 minutes so they could squeeze in more ads. I was like, oh, that's crazy. <laughs> he said what let me see my boy say remember that let me see 
said, Dan, he said, we had to leave. Hey, well, I appreciate you coming through, my boy. Uh, I think it's a T A H J. I appreciate you coming through. I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, yes, Crunchy Crunchy Roll is Crunchy Roll. Man, I remember when Crunchy Roll first came out, and I was like, I ain't about to use no shady ass website to watch anime. <laughs> I'm about to use my credit card online to buy some shit from this weird company called Amazon. <laughs> but I ain't giving it to nobody, man. Crunchy, bro. I know it's a scam. A couple dollars and I can watch all that Naruto. I know it's a lie. It ain't true. Y'all always trying to scam a black man. That's straight up what I said back in the day. <laughs> straight up. <laughs> I I really thought it was a scam. I was so mad. Like, it was always cause no, it was always a scam. Somebody was always scamming. So since somebody was always scamming, I was always suspicious, and I just <laughs> did not believe it. And then I like went on the website, and you know, it's a you know it's a website, and it's got all that shit all over it, and, like ads and stuff. And I just was like, ah, okay, whatever. <laughs> I just watched it and I didn't get a virus. Didn't nobody come for me. So cool. Worked out. <laughs> Worked out. <laughs> and you know, I'm saying this. I'm saying I'm not going to run no scams and let nobody take advantage. But I'm fucking around downloading shit off of LimeWire <laughs> at the same time. That's what happened when you're just young and dumb as hell. You get tired of one a monster uh, in the graveyard and change his uh, card to an attack position to defense position and add it to the hand. All right. Yeah, it's just, that's what happens when you just dumb as hell. Just young and dumb. <laughs> just like, <laughs> logically makes no sense. Just like, whatever. You said Omniclix getting canceled? Dang, why they getting canceled? What happened to Omniclix? Omniclix, what happened to those guys? They fucked up. You know what's funny too about a lot of businesses that's closing down or, or something like that is happening to them in 2020. A lot of them are claiming COVID, but the funny thing is like COVID doesn't have anything to do with their actual business failure. They just kind of suck at the business, you know? <laughs> and then they're like, well, what do you happen, Jim? He's like, fucking COVID, no customers. And they're like, damn rascal ass COVID then got us again. <laughs> and that's pretty much. <laughs> That's pretty much how that's going right now. A lot of people getting away with that corporate uh, uh, failing up is what they call it. <laughs> A lot of people getting that good fail up right now. All right, let's go. I'm going to auto do this one actually while I read some more of the chat. Evil Hero GX23 was good, my boy. Welcome back. Is that blue, blue pop on seat? What's that blue? Is that blue popo? Oh, is that blue? I said blow pop. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Dan, you see Dragon Ball? Yeah. You see blue Mr. Popo? Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, blow pop? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know blow pop. <laughs> that sound like the, that sound like the name for like the hardest hood dude. They call his ass blow pop. Why? The cuss. The name is so soft. It's intimidating as hell. Ain't you scared? Yeah, man. I'm actually shaking right now. I told you. Motherfucker name blow pop. I don't know. <laughs> Cause he gonna blow your ass away. <laughs> when you get popped. <laughs> Motherfucking blow pop. <laughs> Motherfucking blow pop. <laughs> so, so yeah, I used to be down with a ton of the Pirate Bay, my boy. Woo! I remember I had this computer, man. I downloaded so much garbage to that computer. It was just, it was terrible. I like killed that poor little computer. It had like so much crap on it. It was so, it was so destroyed. Poor little computer. <laughs> I literally, I was like, this is my downloading PC. And all it did was download shit. And it had so many viruses. It, it literally was walking around with like, hey, Dan, what's up? Can I get some coffee? <laughs> like, sure. 
<laughs> the secret nickname Blow Pop. Ben Tim's OG. Ben Tim's like, oh, I got something for you. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Damn. Gag over. <laughs> Gag in, dude. <laughs> Gag in, dude. <laughs> it's, it's over. <laughs> Uh, Ben 10, I, I don't, I think it just kept making money. Oh, this is for a video. Um, I'm gonna use Dr. Crowler. Uh, GX word, GX word. You see, I was testing this deck out on a lot of different skills and people. See, that's why everyone has it. Um, let's try some Thunder Dragon. Thunder Wagons. I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna try using this again. I'm gonna try using these too. Big fake, you can discard this gun, turn on Thunder Monster. He gains 500 attack. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna try to use these. Mm, nah. Maybe I'll squeeze that in. We'll see. Uh, but I am gonna use my Quans. My Quan. And then I'm gonna use. One of those and uh, one of those or my diva. Can I get a diva? Actually, I kind of low key want to actually let me do it like this because now I got a little I got a little little light bulb in my head right now. So let me kind of work it out. No, 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 no. Let me work it out. Actually, let me get rid of uh, my card view so you can see. All right. I just thought in my head, I need to see what kind of level three <laughs> thunder monsters we got. <laughs> so I can add my psychic friends. <laughs> Call me now for free tarot clapping. <laughs> I used to call Miss Cleo for that free tarot reading all the time. And I'd be like, hello, Miss Cleo. It's YT Dan, back at it again for another reading. And she's like, ah, welcome back, YT Gan. I set two cards face down and in my turn. This trick, this would be $25 an hour. <laughs> if all battery men double A on your side, oh man. I remember my boy used to have a battery man deck and that was the only deck he played. He was kind of like one of the NPCs. That was kind of cool. <laughs> Not cool that he was like an NPC, but cool that he used to play that <laughs> that one battery man deck. And he used to get in there sometimes. Every now and again, he would, he would do really good. So when this card destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can add one level two or lower light monster from your deck to the hand. Damn, if you had said level three, you would have been so good. What happened to Miss Cleo? I think, I think, I thought, I think something random happened to Miss Cleo. Like she got into some kind of trouble or something, or maybe she passed away. I can't remember. Wild monsters you can control cannot be destroyed by battle while they are attacking. Hmm. What say? Eh? To win this card, deal damage to your opponent, destroy this card. Bunch of random 900 monsters that can swing directly. Oh, but with this is a thousand. I mean, not a thousand, it's uh, you know, over a thousand. It's actually interesting. Interesting. A little cheesy play. Wonder what else we got here. Let's see. Uh, da -da -da -da, da -da -da -da. Can't attack twice in each match in battle phase. And defense positions destroy immediately. Hmm. Is 
Ninja's card battles negate the effects of monsters it battles. Hmm. Yeah, why not? This will be pretty fun. This would be random. A little random deck that smacks with these little thunderballs and then uses this stuff to reinforce it. Nah, I'll get slaughtered. Idea canceled. Plan resumed. <laughs> this is literally how, how I be doing, like making decks. I'll be like, ooh, light bulb, bad light bulb. <laughs> then I just be like, <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Not doing it anymore. Oh, wait. Might not have to use that boy. Might have to use this guy. Hold on. I think it's a light level four thunder. Yes. 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 I can bring some XCs. Where's my boy? That's my boy. Let's do it. I'm gonna grab. Oh no, we can put the Hunter family in this. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do the Hunter family though. Let's do the Hunter family though. Do, 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 do. Let me see. This one says you can uh, a special a uh, light. Thunder, yes. All right. So we're going to do the Ma, the Paul. Two Ma, two Paul. I want three of these and three of these. We got two. One. One. Bop, bop, econ, controller, can I get a controller? I'm thinking about using the Thunderballs, I really am. I'm really thinking about it. The only reason I don't like that is sometimes when, I, honestly, I'll tell you like this, sometimes I get really internally salty because I'd be mad that I like went to play the Thunderballs because I like the Thunderball card and I want to play the Thunderball card, but I can't play the Thunderball card because there's too many effects that remove my monsters from the field or change my position. So it puts me in a weird kind of spot where if I lose because I got the Thunderball in my hand because the monster is taken off the field and I knew better, I feel real salty about that. I'm looking for an enemy controller. <laughs> so that's probably why I wouldn't never play the Thunderball. <laughs> but just cause I said that, I'll probably just put it in just cause I said that. But I'll just be mad. Cause I'll be like, ah, I fucking knew it, man. I knew I should have played whatever. Back in the day, it was worse taking an L like that because it was a very, it was a much slower game. Cause you know, you're picking cards up off the table. But in Duel Links, you know, you'll have that regret and be dead in the next turn. So, <laughs> so you know. Oh, you know what, though? I remember. Actually, let me beat them boys up with that one deck I, I was playing. Because I was going to play this, but I just remembered why I was, like, what I was enjoying that, that deck. Dang. Uh, shoot. I... Yeah, I want to talk to you about Quiet podcast. Just... Joe Rogan podcast popping up. <laughs> Try to tell me stuff. Quiet, Joe Rogan. Shh. <laughs> Quiet your mouth. Uh, do, 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 do. Because yeah, I was playing a math mech deck yeah there it is let me see 100 c's 
and whatnot. Who was I playing that with? This was on the twentieth. Man, these days and hours are melting together. For sure. Oh, that was the ties that tilt. So it's probably uh Jaden. I was Yugi. I think it's this one. Oh, and I was rocking plasma in this too. Set this shit. Looking kind of kind of nice. Kind of liking this. Okay. Only thing I'm gonna do. I got a little more wisdom. And I think I got some more XCs. C's four. Hmm, I'm gonna drop these angels. I'm gonna pop in. Oh, I kept your Sheila to break up a brick if I could ever got my board bricked. I think this is fine. Um, no, 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 no. yes, on ties that tilt. Actually, I'm gonna drop. No, I'm gonna keep the deltros. He can just pop a card. Oh, I forgot to uh, replace these. Oh, the level four. Da, 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 da. Think out loud. You can add one to your hand. Uh, sure. Bup, bup. No, bup. And then we're gonna go ahead and put in a little bit of hot Karibo action. A little bit of a Karibibi bow. Mr. Spear. Spear Karibo. Spear Karibo, a dog. Oh no. Oh yes. <laughs> That's what I'll say. I'm like, attack with my math mech. And I'm like, uh, go ahead and uh, kill it with my background. I'm like, um, a chain forbidden lance and destroy your monster. Use my effect, destroy your cards. And oh no. Oh yes. <laughs> Damn, and actually get this fucking money. I must hold my skills and get this fucking bread. <laughs> that's, I guess that's what I should have said. I'm gonna hold my skills and get this money. All right, so please bear with me 10 seconds. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Stream may lag within the next 10 seconds here. I wanna appreciate y'all right now in this 10 seconds. I also would like y'all to smash the like button. I want to go ahead and appreciate my boy James and Mickey the potato for hitting that subscribe button. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and replace this right here with this right here. I don't have all the bones. <laughs> I don't got all the bones. I want to play the bone daddy deck, but I don't got all the bones, bro. Ah! I'm naked. I just don't got all the bones. Unfortunately, I'm still missing my funny bone. All right. This should be more than enough for the scrubs and platinum. Only reason I didn't like Seahorse, and Seahorse was in the place of Shining Angel. Only reason I didn't like Seahorse, I think Seahorse has a back draw. It says something on the level of it's like, you can't draw, no, you can't summon or something. There's some kind of drawback, and I don't remember. Oh, wait. I forgot about uh, Bougians. I could play some Bougians. Restart, and I'm going first. Okay, it's a Samo. It's an activation. I'm hitting the super equip. This man's on restart. This is probably uh, Kamakiri. I'm gonna die. But what? Why not? I got double Karibo. It's a good day to die with two Karibo in hand. Uh, 
James, what's good? Whoa, Ricardo, what's up, my boy? Yeah, it is Kamakiri. Damn, if it's gonna be getting serious, then shit. What happened to all the maniacs and clowns from yesterday? <laughs> They're gonna be coming at me with full force because I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just step it up and play something a little bit, you know, a little rogue, a little bit different, a little spice. And this guy was like, tier one meta. I'm like, all right, fuck it, let's go. See what you got. I mean, if you don't have three monsters, then I'll be straight. But as many he puts three monsters on the board, then, that, then that'll be a problem. The minute you see a third monsters, you said Bujin are underpowered. Honestly, if Bujin can get all this stuff in the grave, it's really good. Said it is just me or his rich crafter nerf was the most unfair thing that ever happened in Duel Links. You know what's funny about the witch crafter deck? It was so oppressive that it just made people not want to play, I think. Um, and I think them nerfing it was more like a reaction of we got to clean this shit up fast because people hate this. And I mean, yeah, I hated it too. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, I hated it as well. I hated it a lot. Yes. Yes. Ugh. Fool. <laughs> I guess I'm the fool. I thought he's equipped for that thing. I don't know what he was doing. Dummy. 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 Can't read. Got the dummy with his dummy pills. I play tier one deck. All right, don't bother reading cards because I play tier one. I'm okay. I'm not dead. <laughs> Said dude already missed the combo. How you get the platinum six making moves like that, bruh? Oh, I don't see this one played too much. Activate if you control the combo carry and face up defense position. Negate the activation of a spell or trap. That's a normal? That's busted. Sid, hop into the maniacs roles and ranks of platinum and we shall face each other because I must get out of Animal Planet immediately. Clapping Kamakiri, nice. But dude forgot his reading glasses. Yes, he definitely did. Like he summons, he summons the right monster. Sure. Then he just doesn't read. <laughs> fuck the reading. Fuck reading. And actually fuck you. What? <laughs> Shut up. You don't know me. You're ugly. Damn. Okay, everything depends on if this card in the back is War Chariot. If it's War Chariot, then I know how to get around it. If it's not War Chariot, then I'm fine. So I'm gonna have to summon this one, summon the mama, and then the mama can summon the papa. Yeah. It's not War Chariot, I don't think. Yeah, it's not War Chariot, I don't think. I think it's charge. What? I felt I felt the resistance. Maybe it was my card. Oof. Alright, it was War Chariot. Fuck. Damn. Well, fuck then. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Well damn. Make me pay, why don't you? Oof. Oh, don't make me pay too high a price. Don't be too nice to me now. Don't be generous and shit. Don't just give it up. Don't just hand it over. Oh, you're gonna, oh, you're, you're gonna do it. No, you're gonna just give it up, aren't you? You're gonna do it. This can't target them during the main phase. I can only target them during battle. 
And do. Alright. We can beat that up. Of course. Let's hit him with a child's play. It's not gonna be the most elegant move, but it's gonna work. His paw hunter. Paw for ma. Ma Honda. Exceed Samo. Use the power of this Ma and Pa to boost the Samurai. God, 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 Samurai. I'm setting a card and I'm using my skill. I guess that's how you gotta say it when you use your Gaga Gas. I'm using my Gaga Gas Samurai effect. He can attack twice. He's like double the monster. No, he's got Karibo or some shit. Ah! Ah! Damn it! <laughs> Why? Why is it always Gladiator Beast? Why they keep showing up randomly to punish me? <laughs> it's been like this for two days. Two days. Two days. What is it with these Gladiator Beasts, bro? It's been two days about this. Every time. Why? 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 What is this? Dodo. Y'all need to stop playing. Y'all need to stop playing. Playing with me, dog. <laughs> Out here playing games. Fuck it then. I can play games too. <laughs> Going here with this guy, guy, guy again. Same damn hand. Guy, 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 samurai, and two goddamn Karibos. <laughs> Same hand. Here I come, Yugi. Wall of D, you animal. Dark match. That must be circle or something, I guess. Yeah, okay. Dark magic circle. God. I hate this man right now. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not even gonna lie. I hate this man right now. I hate this man. Look at him. Look how he's going in. Look at him. Look at look at all this. Look at how he went in. All that was in phase. And yet, that was all he could muster. Yeah, yeah, but uh, yes. Do you know what this is? Do you know what this means to have this power? I don't think that you do. I activate the tiny the tilt. Do you know what it means? Soon you will understand. I've done the math and I'm clapping that ass. Get ready, cause you're going down. Try it, boy. It won't work. I'm eating this and I'm attacking twice. 
is gonna be noise. I've done the math, and this move is your ass. <laughs> it will have no effect. I'm attacking your dark magician, and I'm doing the math to destroy your beast. Get ready for my samurai. Come on, boy. Come on, Yugs. Yugs. Yug. Yugi. Grandpa's gone. I passed the test. Well, no, I, well, no I'm actually Yugi. Pharaoh. <laughs> Your grandpa's dead. You failed the test. Navigation negate. Wait, what? <laughs> He's a mystery. <laughs> I like it when people have these names like question mark, like they so good. So you know you lose to them, you'd be like, who was who was that man? And it's like something three. Like no, sorry. Put up your real name so I can put my foot in your ass. It's it. At least you won't get sacked. <laughs> yes, he rage quit to the afterlife. Yes, I would have rage quit to the afterlife. No, I'll need my forbidden spell to defeat this man. Without it, my cheeks will be clapped. Damn, I also need a Karibo. But actually, you know what? To stop him, real good. So that's what I'm gonna do. That's not even his music, but you know, that's the one I like. Damn, I like this hand. This is the hand I understand. Bro. And I'm gonna add another father. Father. Come on, Zane. Can you stop this man? This is the only place where this beast can actually prove his worth. Come out, number 39. Utopia. You had to say the last part real wet. You can't stop my Utopia, Zane. You might as well scoop it up. I know you can't get past 21 of those things. Oh no! He's gonna do a bunch of shit. Uh oh. Do your worst, you maniac. Well, no, no, no. Don't do your worst. Do like, do like your moderate, do like your moderate best play. Do your most decent move. <laughs> do not do your worst, please. No. <laughs> Spare me. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I said. Nacho West, what is what is this? What is what's happening? Cyber, hibernated rampage. Are you really gonna go all out like this? I uh, got two cyber dragons in the crate so easily. Oh, three. And he passed. Please, God, please. I have to draw the spell. The <laughs> all. Damn, damn him to heck. Damn. Damn. If you was wondering why I'm saying damn, it's basically this card. It's making me say damn. It says banish cyber dragons with different levels from your hand face up on the field or graveyard didn't destroy equal cards. And right now he has a four and a five and he can destroy two cards. Shit. I've only got one chance. I summon. What will you do maniac? And I activate Mahunda's effect. 
something in Paw Hunter. Mm -hmm. The tie is the tilt. Damn, he's not taking the bait at all. Shit. Take the bait, you maniac. He's too smart for his own good. All right. Battle phase. Damn. 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 Most unfortunate. Damn. I was trying to get him to pop that anytime but battle. Yeah, I'm gone. Damn. I guess I'm gonna have to play Cosmic Cyclone. This isn't enough. That's unfortunate. And that Kyle Cyclone, I'm gonna play Hate Trunade. I guess that's just not enough. Damn, that's sad. If, if all I had, all I needed was the Chalice, I could have got around that whole thing. Damn, I guess I'm just gonna have to play Trunade. I don't wanna play Trunade, cause I don't like Trunade. So I'll play Trunade and a Econ. And econ just didn't just did not have a response. I just can't I just can't play two true names in my deck. If I play two true names in my deck, I feel like I'm just gonna lose. Let me take a look at this. That's all it was. That's all it ever was. Just that. God damn. I hate that they can get that card on the first turn and just be like set. You said, why didn't I sync for the math? Because he had the option to destroy two cards. So, you know, he was gonna be able to destroy any two cards. I was hoping that he would see see me like summon the second paw and then he would just activate the trap or I activate ties and he would activate the trap. But he didn't do anything. He didn't fall for any of my tricks. <laughs> Basically, he just he just didn't fall for. He just didn't buy it. Basically, so that's why I tied. He just he just didn't fall for it. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> I was like, fall for my trick, please. He was like, no, no, I was like, please. He's like, no. I know exactly what you're doing. I was like, no, please, just no, <laughs> no. He's like. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to get them guts. <laughs> no. No. And then my guts were got, as you saw. Yeah, because it was going to die anyway. So it was kind of like my best bet was to try to see if he was going to make a dumb play. And he didn't. <laughs> I mean, it is a kudo for him. He didn't fall for my oldest trick in the book. But I mean, at that point, that was the only trick I had. Sometimes you got to Sometimes you got to play it. It's either that or scoop, you know? So, you know, either you're, either you're gonna play it out or you're gonna scoop it out. And you know, I played it out and then I eventually scooped. Well, like, oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's Dragoonity. Damn. What's sad about that is I took the Karibo out and it doesn't even matter because I didn't even have, I don't even have a Karibo in my hand, like the card I replaced it for, which is Econ and True Name. And I don't even, I don't have either one. So I was going to take this L regardless. Well, depending on how far he goes in this combo, I don't know. I don't know how far he's going to go. Oh, that's pretty far. Oh, yeah, that's pretty far. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's pretty far. Huh. Yeah, it's pretty far. <gasps> oh yeah. That's pretty far, my boy. Jerry Nguyen. Thanks for that five bucks, my boy. I appreciate it. I'm glad you're enjoying the stream as well. All right, I lost twice. I think it was two times in a row. And I think I'm risking a rank now, right? Yeah, not, I'm not taking a rank down. 
I'm gonna use the power of my triple D to keep me in the game. Cause I'm not gonna stay in Animal Planet. No, that's not the right deck. I'm not staying here, never. Oh no, not this, oh God, no, not this. No, no, it's just a list. Oh, excuse me, I'm so sorry. Oh, I had gave it to Shark actually. I gave it to Shark. Uh, actually, let's go classic Kaiba. I am not losing to another animal, tiered or not. I can't afford to. If I do, I'll go down. And if I go down, then I'm finished. And I don't wanna be finished. I wanna clap those cheeks till they can't be clapped no more. Wait a minute. It's late already. Shit. Gotta keep streaming. You said lose, said lose two in a row. Shiranui, hello. <laughs> Hi, there it is right here too. There it is, boys, but I'm going second. Here it is, you, you spoke it into existence, you maniac. <laughs> oh, you maniac, you spoke it into existence. <laughs> One on the rank down. Here I am. Kang Kang. Y'all some mofos. I don't know how y'all be doing it, man. Oh, uh, y'all some mofos. You didn't curse me. You didn't curse me. Y'all some mofos. Y'all some mofos, man. Speak of the goddamn devil. Y'all crazy. Y'all crazy. All of y'all crazy. Crazy. All of you are madmen. That's all I got to say. All of y'all are mad, man. Just straight up was like, it's going to be Shira Nui, dog. That's right. Triple D and 3D. Somebody's going to take the D in this duel. <laughs> Konami, can you please kill this deck? <laughs> They're not going to kill it, my boy. They're never going to kill it. People love it too much. They love it way too much, bro. Summon Skull. Annoying. No, 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 no. You got the normal summon too, bro? Oh no, it's battle phase time. Oh, he didn't continue. I thought he was gonna continue that. He did not. Interesting. So I can take Ooh, I could end up taking 3,500 and doing like a really good play. Ugh. Ooh. Ah. My open my trap. Use this thing. It's God! Destroy! The rule! Activation! Discard! Destroy! Now you'll see the power of a true different dimension duelist. I summon a monster. <laughs> All right, we're going to bring back you. We're going to sink to the ultimate. Then we're going to do the grave. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Change my position if you dare. 
Come forth, my beast. Hmm. You might think my Alexander's alone, but he's not alone with a graveyard like this. I'll use it. From my graveyard, my vice typhon activates. Activation! Fusion! And now I can special summon back a beast. Should I do it? I will not. Yeah, all I got is the two Watchmen jigs. Yeah, I will not. And then they're both at 3,000. Let me check his graveyard. Ooh, he's got nothing. Um, Yes, just take your 500 and go, sir. Take your 500, 500. Take your 500, 500. Yeah. Take it. 500. Yeah. I want to see what you got. I got the contract with the witch. And you ain't setting no back row. And I got one card in my hand, oh. Well, that's a nice summon. Be ashamed if you lost your beast. Mm -hmm. Nani? And I know you don't have anything else, so. This card. This to the youth. Book of Life. Damn. Damn. The Book of Life. Well, that's not good. No, you can destroy my monsters. Damn you. Damn you. Damn you. Level up, dog. He's going to summon the king. And he's got so many targets to protect that beast. Ah! No! Defeat it. Damn. It was less than optimal hand, but hey, I did all I could. It was a good game. It was a quality game though. I can't lie. It was a quality game. I play the kite roids. I play them. So I just didn't get it. I hate it when that happens, man. You play it, but you don't get it, man. That's that, that reminds me of that song. It's like, go something like, something like, like you try your best and you did what you need or something like that. Oh, no, no, no. I remember. It's like, um, it's like when you get what you want, but no, no. It's like when you get what you need and not what you want or something like something like that shit. <laughs> you tried your best and you didn't succeed. Something like that. So you know what song I'm talking about. <laughs> Maybe you don't. <laughs> Cause clearly I don't. <laughs> It's like when you try your best and you didn't succeed. <laughs> when you get, oh yeah. When you get what you want and not what you need or some shit like that. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> oh, you can't rank down in platinum? I didn't know that. I forgot about that. It's been so long. <laughs> it's been so long. I thought you ranked down after two duels, but then I saw I didn't rank down. So I was like, oh. Well, then the urgency was for nothing. I, I guess I've, I guess technically I've only seen rank ups, if I think about it. Yeah, I've only seen rank ups. So. You said that's Paradise by Coldplay, I think. Yeah, I think I think that's right, too. <laughs> something something like that, my boy. <laughs> when you try your best. And you on your knee. Oh man, look at this maniac. Pass turn. Yeah. Da -da. <laughs> this beast is powerful with a powerful effect, but it's no match for the triple D. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. 
said just wash your neck cheer your deck he said you are a big brain i appreciate that donation and the compliment feels good now watch my big brain at work as i use my double d swirl slime to fusion summon it's my triple d flame king Genghis, and i'm not done because i'll normal summon and special summon my double d swirl slime what double d swirl slime why would he do that it's such a foolish move quiet fool and watch me work i synchro summon be the bridge between these worlds synchro summon armides keeper of the boundaries and i'm not done yet because I have this card, the dark contract with the Swamp King. If he's in the chat, write me up a new loan, my boy. I'm gonna hit up a fusion summon. It's wonderful. And I set a card face down and activate beat down. I'm thick as hell, dog. Negated. Ugh. Mm. Mm. Feels good. <laughs> that felt great. That felt great. 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 He was like, why? Why me? Every time I play Yu-Gi-Oh! These guys, they show up. These random ass decks smack me around with their big ass triple D's. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> he was like, beat down? Impossible. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> He's like, not Armides, dog. Also, I could have attacked it with. Uh, um, with the uh, High King Alexander, but I did not uh, want to risk him having a Karibo or something else that could like really ruin my day and leave that thing on the field. Cause if you leave that on the field, it can banish levels, anything under level seven and you know, and it's consequences for killing that thing. And let me see his deck actually. Yeah, because if I had to kill this, and his turn went and he got another turn, he would have been able to grab another Luna Light fusion too, or polymerization for free. So yeah, it's like, you don't wanna play no games with that. Like when you see that man, you gotta kill him on sight and you gotta kill him proper. Kill him with, you know, a fissure, maybe. When people set up a field like that, fissure takes care of that real easy, don't it? That's a formidable opponent until fissure came through. When your only option is to attack, that's broken. Wait, you're opening packs right now. The pack, did the packs re, did they drop? Oh, you're opening other packs. Of course, I'm the maniac. Prepare for my triple D. Oh, you really want the triple D because these dark contracts with the gate keep flowing. And as I'm writing up these dark contracts, your fate is sealed. I'll release the power of my double D swirl slime. And fusion summon triple D flame king, Alexander. I say Alexander, Genghis, I'm tripping. Alexander, get out of my mind. What do you have for me, you boy? Do it. Do it! Karma cut, dog. Do it. Do it, your scaredy ass. Scared ass. I see you over there, shaking in your boots. Get ready, I'm coming for your life points. I summon Night Howl, and he's gonna be ready to clap your motherfucking shit. I ain't playing with you. Get ready. I'm using my synchro summoning technique to summon the King Alexander. And you thought you thwarted my plan? 
You thought you stopped me when you killed Genghis? Did you forget about my double D swirl slime? I'll banish it and special summon from my hand a pin dragon. But then my high king has an effect and I'll bring from my graveyard another pin dragon. Then I'm gonna go even crazier by using pin dragon's effect to score the card to destroy your little cage. Now prepare yourself because these beasts are coming for your life points. I'm attacking the face down. Valkyries. Impossible. Valkyries. My high king. You madman. You disgraced my triple D. You'll pay for that with your life. Show me what you've got. It's not much. Nani. Well, that card can't help you without any. Nani. Embrace. You can banish a card. Alexis. You are a duelist. Duddle. I'm afraid this is it. I'm using my dark contract. And now spill my double D slime all over your life points. To summon Triple D. Oracle King. The Ark. And guess what? I got a little graveyard effect by banishing my Typhon and a monster. Come on. Triple D, Dragon Bane, King Beowulf. And did you know with Dragon Bane on the field, I can take life through defense? Attack my beast. Give me the life points I deserve. Come on, make your move so I can finish you off. This is the power of my triple D. Yes. Prepare yourself for pin dragon's full penetration. Destroyed. I love I love it when people get to tussling with the triple D. When it becomes a back and forth, the triple D always come out on top. You gotta get in there, my boy. Nawaf. Nawaf Ark was good, my boy. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Kid Savage HD, one I uh, said, Dan, this is, can you play some Monarchs in the future? I got a Monarch deck I'm working on, my boy. I actually was, I was, I was trying to make this little similar concept to the, to the Plasma, but I'm working with Monarchs, but I wanted to make it different from that Plasma deck. So I'm trying to do a little something with some Thunder cards, but we can talk about that later. So I'm gonna make that video. I have a I have an actual like content schedule that I got stuff written down to make content on. So that's one of those decks. Actually, they nerfed your boy. You know what I'm saying? They nerfed your boy, uh, Keeper of the Dragon Magics. And I can't play my favorite Monarch deck, which is Neil Fusion Monarchs, the way I used to play it. There he is, flanking Genghis. What will you do about it, Chaz? That's fine. Because now I'm summoning my Double D Night Howl. 
he's gonna call up a beast. Come on out, Pin Dragon. Now, penetrate that fiendish chain. Destroy it. I've broken the bonds that hold my beast, and now it's time for the synchro summon. Come on out, Triple D, Gust High King. It's Alexander, boy. Triple D Gus High King Alexander, to be exact. And I'm using my Flame Genghis' effect. Come on back, Pinna Dragon. Get ready to penetrate that back row yet again. Pin Dragon doesn't care about your back row. My Triple D can't be defeated. Except for that time they were defeated. But you didn't see it. Maniac. <laughs> You didn't see it. You didn't see it. Yeah, Lunar Light Predator Plants was spicy. Honestly, I what I was leaning towards is a Predator Plant Monarch. I like that deck a lot. But I'm bouncing back and forth with a lot of different ideas. But Predator Plant Monarch was sitting pretty good in my head. Whoa, Vision Fusion. Oh, you're a true maniac with no skill. Let's get out of Animal Planet. Oh, actually, no. We can't get out of Animal Planet because we've got to pass seven. Probably not going to pass seven because it will take too much time. Reginald Shark Castle. Oh, I'm ranking up. Good. Grass is down to one, not bad. This is my favorite music right now. I've been really like, every time I hear it. <laughs> Ancient aliens. No, Gradles. Wait, that is Ancient Aliens. What is this? <gasps> that is how them juniors be looking. But, uh, damn, what is he planning? I set two cards face down. You can never bait a triple D. Show me what you got, Reginald. I can't take you serious with a name like Reginald. What, did your parents love you or something? Give you a name that sounds pretty cool? <laughs> Show me what you got, Reginald. Give me that synchro. What, level five? Omnitrix. Continue the main phase for no reason and end my turn. I was also hoping for that in that other duel when I had to play those Thunder Monsters. Continue the main phase? Yes. I'm a great old baby. Oh, I know what you're trying to do with great old baby because five plus two is seven. And that means doom. I reveal it. My dark contract with the witch. I'll sign it now. Discard and destroy your baby. Your baby has been destroyed. Say goodbye to your child. Kill it if you must. Ugh. Gradle impact. For another Gradle baby? Interesting. He keeps stacking up the babies. What? I'll use the effect right now. I'll discard it and I'll destroy all matrix. No, I'm shooking. Damn, it comes down to do I trust this back row? I don't know if I do. I'll play it safe. Come back, Double D Baphomet. 
Time to hit the exceeds. Prepare yourself for the rarely seen. First form of the High King, Triple D, Gus King Alexander. It's time for him to rise up and stay the claim on your life points. Alexander, attack Reginald. Get ready, Reginald, for Alexander's attack. Nani. He took it head on. What could Reginald be planning? Surely he can't stop a beast with 3,500 of those things. It's impossible. Especially for his great olds. <laughs> Can you see it? The power emanating from my Alexander? Giving you the pressure to scoop? Yes. Read the cards all you want. You can't escape the power of Alexander. Tony, cradle impact. <gasps> no! Cheesed! Let's go, Reginald. I'm taking you down. Ooh. I'm passing turn. We will do battle next turn, Reginald. Finish it up. Live or die, final turn. Let's go, Reginald. This is your final turn. Strong impact. Mm. All right, better watch that. Blast. I see what he's doing. Territory of shot Nunny. Fine. Take it away. I don't need it. I believe in my cards and I know when I draw the right one, this duel will be done. Ah, who is Stevens? I have this. It's my one and only kite Roy. It'll save my life points. All right, this card, this card is destroying the battle. He can make his monster and change any special summon monster to defense mode. Oh my God. This is why I hate defensive cards. <laughs> this, is, this is why I hate them. This is why I hate them. I know Karibo. I mean, Kite Royd or whatever you are. All right, we can still hang in there, but I mean, I needed this to be a triple D monster, especially like a slime or something. Or something. 
uh, Kite Roy. And I'll take your five. And they come on over for three. And then I've got Kyra, 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 yeah. Kyra, Kyra. I'm talking about Kyra. No, I'm gonna need the slime. Da -da. There he is. Slime. Oh, slime. This is it. My final shot. Fusion Summon. It's my Double D. Triple D. Dragon Bay. King Beowulf. Beatdown. Final turn. Battle. Attack. King Beowulf. What? You'll cut my attack in half. Impossible. Okay. Okay. It's a lame card. It's so lame. Ugh. So random. Paleozoic half the attack. Who plays this? What the fuck? What the fuck? Huh? Huh? I guess I gotta take the L, man. I gotta take the L, I guess. I guess I gotta hold it, bruh. Sweet baby Jesus. It wasn't, it's not a bad deck at all. It was actually pretty fire, but sweet Jesus. Good Lord. Kyroid. Yeah, could have used that uh, slime a turn ago, but I couldn't use it anyway because he had a uh, of things. This is freaking uh, platinum, bro. Platinum is crazy. He's probably gonna be like plat five or six or seven. He's probably like a higher level plat guy, or maybe he just got his journey started. But he's probably like higher level. Yeah, he's he's at three. He's on this climb up. He's doing pretty, wow, he only got two of these and he got them both and played them, nice. This is actually pretty good. It says you can target a Gradle Monster card you control and one card your opponent controls and destroy them. Dur during your end phase, you can add a Gradle card to the hand. Gradle impact is kind of nuts. I never, I've never, ever, 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 ever even considered that card for a second. That was pretty nuts, Chris Strong Gradles. That was pretty, that was pretty good. Chris Ryan Gradles. That was pretty good. Actually, man, the coffee brings that, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Chris Ryan Gradle was pretty busted. I mean, he kept me at bay, but that random Paleozoic card was just cheesy. I didn't have slime in the grave, bro. I never had a slime that duel. Unfortunately, if I had the slime in the grave, then I would have went off with the pen dragon first because I would have had the option to target his back row, but I didn't have it. <laughs> this is why I didn't do it. Believe me, if there was a way to win that duel, I would have tried to win it <laughs> as soon as I could. You know me, I'm attacking for game. The first shot I get, I'm like, oh, it's time. <laughs> Bonk. <laughs> <laughs> Bonk, go to Yugi Pro Jail. <laughs> go to YGO Jail. All right, we're playing a tier one deck right now, boys. Everybody, shh, 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 quiet down, quiet down. Tier one deck right here. Look at him thinking really hard as he makes his tier one plays. It's like, don't want to mess this up. All my friends are watching. They always call me a scrub. But I'll prove I'm not a scrub. I'm playing the best deck. I summon a bunch of Kamakiri shit. And I set a bunch of back row and shit. And I pass turn. Deal with that. Then hopefully I'll be like, um, hey Kool-Aid. Oh no. And then I, you know, I didn't miss a bunch of other combos, but I mean shit. Right now it's not looking too good. I mean, it's like 
so many cards could turn this around, but it all depends on what he has for back row. And good Lord, he's gonna have a lot of freaking back row at the end of all this. Or at least two. So busted. So busted. Who builds something like this? Who's like, you know what? I gotta protect us from these monsters, man. Let's build some wood gear samurai dudes. Yeah, that's a good idea. And now I set all three back row. Hooray. What? A blessing, that all. Always Kyroid. Always Kyroid. Always Kyroid. So we summon once per turn, and the battle position I'll become a to change to draw a card. Yeah, I gotta get that dude off the board if I can. Can't have him drawing all crazy. Alright. Your plus is in here! I reveal! My busted witch. And by discarding a card from my hand, I can destroy one of yours. I discard the slime. To destroy your big boy. Alright, now you can do whatever the hell you want. Go ahead and do it. Whatever. Everything you want. Do everything. Extend. Overextend, actually. Do it fast, too. Like, have you seen a new box? He was like, if so, do you think Mermil will make a comeback? He says, I am free to play, and I'm wondering, should you invest? Or should, or you're wondering, you should invest. Well, I don't know if they're going to make a comeback, my boy. But I'm definitely going to be getting in there to try it out. For sure. But I think that it's uh you know, it's a good deck. I mean it's a decent deck right now and it has a lot of a lot of struggle, but oh no. What? Power tool dragon. He's like, Mermills won't make a comeback. Damn, bro. You got to try it, bro. Try it, my boy. Damn it. Give it a shot. <laughs> Looked at him like, fuck him. Of course he gets power to Guardian. What the fuck? Is this another degenerate ass plus one? It's incredible. It's crazy. Guess I'm taking two fucking G's. Ugh. Guess I'm not taking that. This guy. This guy. I like how as soon as I switch to Triple D, they bring the strongest duelists. Well, this is the nature of Yu-Gi-Oh. I must be ready for all opponents. All right. This is it. My final turn! Do do Hmm. Satisfied. This card. This way. What the fuck? This bastard. Alright. Damn. I wish I had the other card though, the spell card for the fusion. Actually, I should put that in here. Uh, I can summon, I can hit that Alexander. All right. 
I got to do it like this. Got to do it like this. All right. Yes, got to do it like this. Got to do it. Um, and then you go bop bop, and then I can go. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Okay. No, it's the two and that's it. If you make that. Then I can find the grave and then I'll get one back. But he can change that battle position. And I'll have three monsters. Ah damn. Alright. And I'll do something to try to protect my life on this. I'm kinda mad that this maniac got a power of the freaking guardian, bro. Of all cards. Like, it's just irritating. God, power of the guardian. Just, just incredibly, it's just incredibly whack. Yeah, I think it says when this is attacked, it changes to defense position, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Power of the Guardian. That bullshit. All right. This is what we're dealing with here. Oh, what a rip. Come on. Power of the Guardian. I am so disgusted. He had a power of the freaking Guardian, man. Power of the Guardian, bro. Damn, man. He couldn't have got that fucking oil can. One and three. Power to Guardian. Stupid. So stupid. So stupid. Well, it wasn't about the brick. It was the synchro for the power tool dragon and search for power of the guardian, which is what made this particular duel a duel. Uh Oh, somebody's going to die. Someone's going to die. Someone's going to die. Actually, hold on. Never mind. Someone's going to kill themselves. Never mind. This man is about to end his own life. Don't worry, boys. He's going to end his own life. I don't have to worry. You don't have to call. It's okay, boys. Cause he's gonna end his own life. It's okay. End your life. Come on and attack the ark. End your life. Oh, he didn't do it. Da da. Oh. It's gonna feel good. It's gonna feel good. Noni? Damn. Damn. I only have one shot. Be gone. Bam. Life. 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 You're lucky, boy. That's not fair. It's not fair. You can't rush me. That's not fair. It's not fair. Ah, it's not fair. Oh my God, you're fucking rushing me. Damn. God damn it. It's not fair. You're fucking rushing me. It's not fair. Shit. Ah, fuck. I'm about to mess this up. I'm messing it up. Ah, no. Fuck it. Fuck it. Bullshit, man. Bullshit. Bullshit, man. That is bullshit, man. Bullshit. Damn. Damn, man. Damn. 
I did have him. Unfortunately, died to a timer. Had to had to tier one in my sights and lost to the timer. Damn it. This, oh, this is hilarious. Got the tier one in my sights, lose to the timer. That's just not fun, man. That happens, but it's like, that's not fair, man. You got all that bullshit going on over there. You gotta read those cards, man. You gotta know what the hell they do. Like shit. And I gotta talk shit on my live stream. God damn. But they expect me to do nothing? You know what I'm saying? Come on. That was a big betray, but you know. Vukwar, thanks for the sub. Alexandre, thanks for the sub. Not even impossible. Triple E subbing. So I'm sorry, that doesn't even make sense. <laughs> like, they are the same person no matter what deck they are using the same deck list. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, when people play that common carry deck, it's always the same deck using the same skills, using the same monsters. The only thing different about this guy's deck was he played a power tool dragon and summoned, I mean, and grabbed power to guardian for free. And what's crazy about that is like people don't do it, but I mean, yeah, it's a thing you can do. And he was about to lose. So upsetting. So upsetting. And then you come up against something like this. After a legendary epic duel like that, then you come up against something like this. Not to say this deck is ass though, but I mean, goddamn, I was playing good as hell. <laughs> now this is like simple. I got this is like elementary stuff right here. It's like, well, gonna do the triple D thing. Can you stop it? And then he's like, oh no. Guess you're gonna die. Whoa! That deck's really cool. Mm-hmm but there's another person I want to defeat. That's how that feels. That's how you find someone that you want to defeat, but you'll never find them again. There's another person I want to defeat. That's how I feel right now. This this victory is gonna be very hollow because I do want to destroy another duelist right now. I do want to destroy another duelist. I'm very disgusted about that. I'm so disgusted. My feet were cold. The bottom of my feet are hot right now. I'm so disgusted. <laughs> And I'm not even disgusted at myself because I made that right decision when I was like, I got to protect my life points. And I summoned two monsters to protect my life points from the uh, contract with the witch. Two true nays. This is why this is why I don't play two true nay in any deck. Look at that crap. Shit out of here. The hell does this thing do? Uh, when it's in attack position, it dies because it takes 69. <laughs> Get out of here. That shit. Boy. Disgusted, man. I don't respect the Samori because he set two. He set two giant true nades and wanted me to fear. He said two giant true nades. This is why I don't play it. This is why I don't play it, man. He said earlier in the stream, he said you was saying uh, you was about to go over the E W box. He said, "Did you go? Oh no, I didn't go over. I said I was gonna make a video when my stream was over, and I was gonna upload it tomorrow for y'all at twelve o'clock." Is what I said. But I was just talking about Fissure. I wasn't going on about the box. I was just really talking about Fissure and how good it was gonna be as a one-off card. Shira newbie. What's crazy too on that last duel in that Kamakuri duel, I drew the right card, which was that fi uh, which was the fusion spell. It was like the perfect card at, at that moment. He's like no back row, three big ass monsters, uh, one monster that had power to guardian on it. I could just take that monster equip and attack for game. But then he tried to hit me with the negate so that I would die and I survived. So that's just, it's funny how that whole duel just turned out. This it was just insane. All right, this is gonna be silly because you know, it's Shira Nui, so I gotta expect he's gonna have like the nuts. Like, you know, they always have like fucking everything, so. All right, I'm ready. Shira Nui, I'm gonna take your challenge. I'm activating my double D swirl slime. And I'll summon 
Flame King Genghis. Are you gonna give me a little back row for this? Come on out, King. Nothing. Hm. Don't be so stingy with that back row. Uh, I activate Swirl Slime's effect. What will your response be? I summon. Now this would be very interesting. This would be interesting. I'm gonna go for it. Come on, do it. Do the negate or whatever you got. Come on. Okay. Do it. Do it. Do that shit. Hell yeah. Give me that chain. We love it. Response. Fiendish chain. What? <laughs> Guess I'll just pass turn. This guy has two Fiendish Chains. Sure. Sure. Not Fiendish Chain and a Canadia or Fiendish Chain and something else. Two Fiendish Chains. Get ready. I've got two Fiendish Chains. <laughs> all right. Yeah, all right. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to pop my mans. He going to beat up two guys. Oh, no. Pop him. Yeah, pop it. Pop it. There's Phoenix Chain. Simon. That's GG. Damn, bro. Wait. Oh, no. Yeah. That's still GG. But, I mean, he should have did the other way, though. I mean, I guess. He should have did the other way. But that was exactly 4,000, so that's fine, I guess. Damn, I didn't even get the Watchman Jig. That's fucked up. That makes me disgusted. Actually, I'm gonna play one more before I go. And before I go, I'm gonna drop. I'm gonna drop my cowardice. I'm gonna drop these fools from my deck. These worthless kite roids, because these kite roids are literally getting me killed. And I'm just gonna put in two of these. Not my hatred mate and a cosmic cyclone. Why not? These kite roids are getting me killed, bro. Every time every time they're in my hands, just bonk, 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 fuga later. Ooh. Ooh, now my rage is starting to build. My hate for the meta is starting to ferment. First, I took a time limit loss. Then I got tilted. All right, and now I must face the Sheer Nui one last time. Finally. Finally, our battle will be legendary. Come on, Sheer Nui, do your next move. This man had two Fiendish Chains, bro. I ain't even look at his deck. I know I'm gonna look at his deck and see two Fiendish Chains, it's gonna piss me off. This is gonna be like, if he sees three, I, I won't, I can't, can't hate, can't hate, can't hate. Three, you deserve two on first turn, but, 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 I don't want Spear Karibo, my boy. The only reason I don't want Spear Karibo is because just it just stops my combo. Like, I'm going in for my combo to kill somebody, and I got a defensive Spear Karibo or defensive Kite Roid in my hand, and it just doesn't help. I'm trying to finish this man, not kiss him. I'm not trying to love him. I'm trying to kill him. <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to take him out. I'm trying to end his Shira newbie life. Set off the door. Look at it. Manual. All right, I'm gonna activate. Now he's gonna get like blown out. 
Cause now I now I've got like everything. Like I literally have everything. That's how Konami do you, man. They get you good and pissed off, and then they just start giving you the nuts, man. I hate how you do me, Konami. I hate how you do me. I hate how you do me. <laughs> Make me so disgusted. Got me out here disgusted. What you got back there? Activate that shit. Scared as hell. I'm not gonna activate it, dog. I might wanna use it. Do that shit. Flip that needle bug nest up. Flip up that needle bug nest. Quit playing around. I know you got needle bug nest. Just flip it up. Needle bug nest, dog. Oh, it's karma. Oh, it's fine. Down. Oh. Uh, damn, I'm gonna take a thousand when that dude dies too. Beat down. Your contemporary wasn't expecting this. All right, Dragon Ball, Dragon GT. Oh my God, and you like the worst Dragon Ball too. You have all kinds of bad taste. Oh, wow, what a rip. Rip, share a solitaire duel, sack solitaire. Solitaire is effect. Here I go, dog. And I summon a monster. And I'm in my germs. Prepare yourself to be feasted upon the doll. Ooh. What I got him? You maniac. You maniac. You've thwarted my plans for the last time. And now you will pay for your misdeeds. Pay for your filthy misdeeds. Get ready for your misdeeds, dog. Yes, get ready. He's gonna he's gonna take 69. Get him ready, boys. He's about to take 69. Uh a new. Activation. Get ready for 69. <laughs> Get ready. Get ready. Everybody get up. Everybody get up. Oh, he's not gonna get 69. I already used beat down. Get ready for 6,000. Dark contract with the witch dog. It is a victory, but I am not satisfied. I am disgusted. These sheer newbies. I wanted to give him that 69, but I couldn't do it. I could only give him 6,000. Ooh. I'm going to look at him. I'm about to be brave right now. He was platinum seven going to legend. I want to take bets right now. I want to see bets right now. Two. Fiendish chain or three? How many Fiendish chains is in this plat seven deck? Two or three? Let me know. We're gonna check it out. Two or three? I wanna know what y'all think, my boy. Look at this. Two hatred names. Look at this, look at this Kyle. He doesn't even know that a heavy storm is brewing it over the horizon. Two fiendish, yeah, he had two. Yeah, yeah, he had two. Two, yep, two, yep, two, yep, <laughs> yep, three, okay, three, <laughs> three fiendish, all, he had all, he had one. <laughs> you maniacs, all right, I'm gonna do it. Here we go. Yep. Two fiendish chains. He couldn't have had a fiendish and a ballista squad. He couldn't have had a fiendish 
and a needle ceiling. He had two fucking fiendish chains. Hate Sharon Moody, man. Hate it. Hate it. Hate it. Where's that great old deck I'm gonna steal? Oh, that's coming, Jerry. Yeah, that was pretty spicy. Thought that was cool. Alright. Let's see. I'm gonna call this. Sleep <laughs> with the fishes. <laughs> Sleep with the fishes. <laughs> gonna, gonna test this out. That man was going in on them gradles, though. He was going in. MST would be great. MST would be great. That would that would change everything. Only reason I don't play Cosmic Cyclone mainly is because of all those thousand life point payments. And I don't want to like, you know, pay a thousand too many times and die. So <laughs> so you know what I'm saying. I'm trying to I'm trying to survive out here. Hey. So we'll have to get in there. Uh We'll have to get in there uh, and clap for the O. Oh. Jaden. Nope. That actually. Dumb. Yeah. Sucks. Damn, man. I'm mad about that time limit loss. I didn't have to lose that one. Damn it. Would have broke. That would have been a rank up. My last duel was a rank up. I didn't lose that. I'm still salty about that time limit loss. Damn, man. Damn. But that was a good, that was a good game. That was actually, I think that was the best game of the stream, actually. That was the best one. I think that was the best one. I think so. I think so. Yeah, Dil Dil Yu Gi Oh, man, it's an emotional ass game, bro. But I gotta get out of here, my boys. I appreciate y'all for watching and hanging out with your boy yet again. I wanna give a shout out to the boy Elijah Perkins and uh, Vugar for hitting up that sub button, my boy. Yes, it is an emotional roller coaster. And I'm glad you guys are here for the ride. But I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. I'm going to be getting out of here. And uh, I'll catch y'all next stream. So, appreciate y'all. As always, I keep it dang. All right, boys. We're getting out of here. Take the blessings from Alexander and never miss. We'll catch